integral of 1 by sin x minus a into sin x minus b we have to find out the integral of this now this is not in any standard form so we have to do some manipulation to bring that into one of the standard or known integration formula so that we can solve it easily now when we take sin x minus a sin x minus b they both are there in the denominator and product so we cannot do anything but if you are able to separate them into two terms then we can see that we can apply the integration formula for that let us see what happens if i do x minus a minus of x minus b that will be x minus a minus x plus b that means x and x will cancel i will get b minus a now if i apply sign on top of this b minus a is a constant numerical value so sign of b minus a will be again constant only so what we will do then we will multiply and divide with sign of b minus a the given integral so we'll write down 1 divided by sin of b minus a and when we write in the numerator we will write it as sin of x minus a minus of x minus b so that we can apply sin of a minus b formula in the denominator we will have as it is sin of x minus a into sin of x minus b now let's go to the next step in the next step we will have 1 divided by sin of b minus a and integral we will take this as sin of a minus b which is equals to sin a cos b minus cos a sin b so we can write down sin of a minus b is sin of a that is sin of x minus a multiply with cos of b that is cos of x minus b minus cos of a that is cos of x minus a multiply with sin of b that is sin of x minus b divided by sin x minus a sin x minus b we have to find out the integral for this now we can see that if we separate the numerator into two different terms and divide by the denominator we are able to get something into a standard formula so let us see what is that can i say 1 by sin of b minus a i will separate them so i'll write down sin of x minus a into cos of x minus b divided by sin of x minus a into sin of x minus b minus cos of x minus a into sin of x minus b divided by sin of x minus a into sin of x minus b now we can see that we can cancel sin of x minus a we can cancel sin of x minus b so in the next term we'll have cot of x minus b and we'll have cot of x minus a for which we know the standard formula that integral of cot x is equal to log of sin x so we can apply that and we can finish this problem the next next step we will write down that is equals to 1 by sin of b minus a then we have integral cos by sin is cot so we can say cot of x minus b dx minus 1 by sin of b minus a integral cot of x minus a we can keep 1 by sin b minus a outside itself or we can separate them now we know that integral of cot x is log sin x integral of cot x dx is equals to logarithm of sin x so we can apply that formula and we can write down 
that is equals to 1 by sin b minus a we will take it common I separated them but this will be into log of sin of x minus b minus 1 by sin of b minus a into log of sin x minus a plus c let's go to the next step in the next step we can write it as 1 by sin of b minus a then we have log of sin x minus b minus of log of sin x minus a we can write it as log of sin x minus b divided by sin x minus a plus c so let's have a look at this problem again we have been asked to find the integral of 1 by sin x minus a into sin x minus b since we don't have any standard formula for this what we have done we know x minus a minus of x minus b is b minus a which is a constant so we multiplied and divided with sin of b minus a and in the numerator we have written it as sin of x minus a minus of x minus b for which we can apply the formula sin of a minus b so when we simplified that we got 1 by sin b minus a into cot of x minus b minus cot of x minus a we know integral of cot x is log sin x so using that formula we are able to get answer as 1 by sin of b minus a log sin of x minus b by sin x minus a plus c